Hey folks, this is Rit. Uh, just making a quick video about how I raid nowadays. And as you get to know your own raid style and your um, you know, character, your hero uh, selections get greater and greater, you typically will change your raid composition. So in the past, I would take, take things like Wu. Wu is definite for uh, Titan raiding. Normally I'll bring like a healer. And I don't have a purple healer, but in this case, I don't want a purple healer at uh, either, simply because, you know, you, you want to have ways to have multiple uh, gem colors work for you. If you've watched my previous videos, you know I love fat five stacking. Uh, I've toned it down a little bit past couple weeks, uh, days, not weeks, um, only because, I don't know, my, my luck seemed to not... Uh, work out my alliance war score uh, recently wasn't as good as I wanted and um, I, I think partly because of some of the strat the enemy came up with but that's uh, that's another video but uh, I brought bolt tusk and then I brought three purples and I've got a variation of purples but these right now are sort of my go-to number one Cyprian for Titan because the Titan's gonna do the damage themselves you know they'll 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 spit whatever they're going to spit. In this case, the Titan is going to, oh, let's see, reduce accuracy. So you definitely want to cleanse that off. So as you can see right here, um, I've got the antidote to cleanse that off. I've got mana in case I just need to get the mana level up fast because I see a combo coming. I want to get um, just the, uh, whatchamacallit, the Wooz combo off, possibly the damage that I can do and uh, increase uh, bolt tusk so or increase bolt tusk mana so that he can heal and also give the uh, attack power increase in the meantime I also have a turtle banner increase defense as well as reduce the enemy's uh, attacks so all these for st survivability but the most important thing I think people need to realize is when to use it and you know, when you're playing a Titan, when you're going up against a Titan, you're not really thinking about, you know, when you're going to use it. You've got like a split second, you're trying to maximize your time, 90 seconds. And for me, uh, the first couple seconds are all just making sure I see the composition. So if it's, you know, if I'm going up against a yellow, do I see a lot of purple gems? If I don't see a lot of purple gems, do I see enough gems so I can match to keep the Titan stunned so that I can you know, uh, keep the value of my items up, meaning when I really need to use it. In the meantime, I'm kind of getting rid of bad gems so I can get those combos coming. Because if you, let's say right now, and I go in and I'm, and I'm uh, you know, I've got a composition of purple, red, and yellow, which means that I don't want blues and greens. If I see a bunch of blues and greens, I need to match them up quickly and get them off the board. In the meantime, use those to stun the Titan and then clear the way for massive combos for purple preferably. Otherwise, get my heal off or, you know, get Wukong moving. And that's how you need to kind of think about how to use your items and what the gems are doing when you're pushing for that high score. So I'm going to tell you right now, my goal is to not use any items. Uh, and try to go with the flow of the board. Sometimes the board just really doesn't, you know, do anything for you, and that's when you need, like, a tornado, and so if you're higher level, you know, you, you can make those things. But, you know, even if you're not, you need to grab just a couple mana pots, and that should be able to carry you through. The goal is always to hit 10 or 15k, okay? And then what I mean by that, or maybe even 20k. If and I, I have this in an earlier video. If you are, if you have a goal of taking down Titan with like I don't know three million health, and you have thirty people, right in your in your team. If you do that math, that means everybody needs to do about what is it a hundred thousand uh, damage. So to get a hundred thousand damage over let's say five hits, your each one of your hits needs to average about twenty thousand, right? And so let's say you have good hits, bad hits then just taking an average of what an, an average hit should be, you know, it should be around like, I don't know, 10k. Because some of your better players are going to come in and crush the, uh, you know, just just crush it. I think these are the first three hits for most players right now. So I'll just go through right now. And as you can see, I'm somewhere down in eighth right now with 51,000. And I'm going to do my third hit because, I, you know, I cleared two hits earlier. 
We got people on the bottom, and that's not to say that they're at the bottom. Sometimes they just have bad composition, and you know, we all are helping each other. Okay, so here's the thing: if you don't hit your hundred thousand goal, which means doing backwards math, you're not hitting your twenty k per hit or eighteen k per hit on a Titan. Don't stress out. Okay, just do your best, but set a high goal. You know. Try to break 10K. If you don't break your 10K, then definitely your next hit needs to be 15K or more. And, and after that, you know, you have to get up to your 30K. Because after 30 hits, basically what I've just said is, is after three hits, you should be hitting like 60K. Uh, so in my case right now, I'm at 51,000, uh, 666. Ooh. All right. Maybe I'm in for some bad luck. But 51,666. And what I need to do is drop in another 9,000. I'll clear my 6,000 goal for 20k per hit. And then I'll have two more, three more hits uh, in about 12 hours that I will drop in and get given given my, you know, give my 100,000 uh, damage uh, that I need to, you know, support my team with. Okay, so here we go. Let's go ahead, do the hits. It's a yellow titan. So I need to drop some, you know, hopefully drop some purple gems. If not, We'll do what we can, and if I don't make it up this time, I'll make it up the next time. Here we go. Alrighty, so quickly calculating my blues. Maybe I should have, you know, powered up, but no problem. I don't see anything that I could use quickly, so I'm going to just drop that and that, and then that will give me some room to uh, breathe. Okay, it's going to hit me right there. Probably gonna hit me again. Hopefully everybody is gonna get some mana up. I'm gonna drop some potions here. And uh, okay, here we go. And uh, am I gonna be able to survive this? I'm not quite sure. Stun perfect, okay. Wukong should be powered up next, perfect. All right, here we go. Got some purples lined up. Perfect. All right. Clear out the buff. All right, the debuff from the Titan. All righty. And then try to get some purple purples down. That was perfect. All righty, I don't really have uh, any blues. See if we can keep surviving this. No. Okay, here we go. Got to gotta use my purple gem now. Do I see any purples? No. And that's it. Did I break 10K? You know, what was my contribution? And, okay. You know, 30,000 almost. And that's, that's how we roll. Okay? You got to think it through. Don't panic. And if you just... It's the quality. Folks, notice that I didn't like wasn't like just pushing buttons and and you know just dropping all my mana pots or and, and my banners and you know I only had like one banner going through like rewind my video you know take a look at what I actually went in with and you'll notice I only had like I think one banner I had five axes I used all three of my pots I used one antidote and that was it right thirty thousand and you're like yeah but you know Rit you have some really good characters and uh, I don't know if I can uh, you know do something like that and. Hey, folks, you need to contribute to your team. I'm going up against a 10-star Titan, okay? You, if you don't have all the goods to contribute that much, you, you, I'm not going to say you need to drop to a lower-level guild, but you need to drop to a guild where you can be successful, and then from there, build up your, uh, build up your characters, win the Titans, get the mats, you know, get the A-plus if possible, you know, and that's going to raise your three stars, four stars, and at some point you'll get your five stars, especially if you don't uh, pay to play. You know, once you get your, uh, you know, your training center up to 20, you can start pumping out. I've heard some care, uh, some um, guildmates of mine, they've got, you know, they, they've, they've done like 20, 30 pulls, but, you know, they've gotten three, four, five heroes out of them, five star heroes, and they're quite happy, and to be honest, you know, I've got a ton of five-star heroes, but I have no time to level all of them. So they're just sitting there collecting dust. I can't even use them. I only use what I can. And uh, just to let you know, the next video that I'm going to make is going to be about leveling heroes with what I what I have so far. So as you can see right here, I have um, 257 heroes I need to use up, uh, plus another 
you know, 10 over here. So I've got like 300 heroes. I'm saving up all my food right now. I'm waiting for all my food banks to kind of get full and then just dive right in to make a food video, uh, a, a hero leveling video. So if you um, <clears throat> have time later, uh, please stop by to watch the next video and I will hopefully uh, do something. Um, I, I think I have a goal. I've got five heroes that I'm looking to level up. Uh, I've got, uh, I think, the, one of the rabbits. I think, I'm not sure if you watched one of them, but I actually was able to pick up the Squire Rabbit. So I'm going to try to see if I can level him up to max. He's only three, uh, he's only three star, but he does pack a punch. And then I've got a green, a couple green heroes. I'm going to try to level them as well. Uh, Jack Rabbit. But I think uh, somebody I really need is Kmon or Melendor. I'll think about that later. And a blue hero. I was thinking about either Boral or possibly dumping in. But I do want to make sure I use, uh, make a good use of all the food that I have. If I'm leveling a five-star hero, it's going to eat through my food very quickly. 100,000 food here and there. So I actually want to um, level up my three and four stars so that I can do more leveling with my 200-some uh, heroes that I'm going to eat up. Okay, so with that said, uh, thanks for watching the video. Please leave a comment. If you have any questions about Titan rating, really appreciate you guys watching. And uh, with that said, RIT out.